Um, I mean, you know, in the past weeks, it was always just Stephen myself after Matt Hyper and Kakne left the uh, game. Basically, it was dummy, and then it was uh, mostly just Steve and myself in the final. But um, last week we couldn't play. Neither Heath nor myself were able to play due to the random MX Cup. So other players had a chance to grab some money. And there were then also two players in the final that haven't been in the final yet. So they both made some prize money. Um, the one player that won is actually the player that I knocked out in the week before in the semi-finals. But it was already a pretty tough match against him. And now, however, last week there was already purple playing, but completely no train, I guess. So he... Uh, got eliminated quite early, was also only 8th in the seeding. But now Purple is trained on every track and I saw also other patterns. I saw also Mika being there in many tracks in the locals. And obviously Heath. But even if Heath wouldn't be there now, I couldn't, didn't check yet. Even if Thief wouldn't be there now, I have basically Purple in full practice mode. I have Mika. Luckily there are no ice maps. Nah. That's not done. Fifth place actually. And Joseph as well. Joseph is also where we practiced on many tracks. So I don't see Heath. That's good. So we have some good players actually today. But we are only 9 on the server. Starting with the seeding. Seeding goes over 5 maps. Of uh, Was it 5 maps? Yeah, I think. 5 maps of the 8 maps that we have in the map pack. bad now. Oh yeah. Do I even make it up? Ach komm. Ach, cannot finish. Beautiful. Okay, a good seating position is then already over, because this is impossible to catch up. <laughs> that couldn't have been worse, my god. Well, who needs a good seating position? That was only important as long as he was here. I was always super consistent with that ending and now, I don't know, now this. Alright, so we have some points now on the board at least. But yeah, there are, I would say, five good people plus Matt Hyper joined the server now. Matt Hyper is not as trained though, I think. So it's gonna be uh, maybe more difficult for him to uh, do well here. But with Heath not being here, we have actually 
Yeah, at least this one opponent that was feel, feeling a bit unbeatable. Not in the cup. Still need to beat one of those others then. Ah, this is of course two lost positions, to be honest. They could be easily two positions further up. <laughs> That's a lot of points against the direct opponents. I mean, if I want to catch up the top three... Then I must play extremely dominant. Pretty bad. <sighs> okay, as a following. By not by not getting a top three position, I have this one disadvantage that I will have already a very difficult quarterfinal against one of these guys. You know what? By now I do the strategy that others did against me. I show absolutely no pace in the seating and then they have no idea how good I actually am. The Cockness threat. Actually second bow. As I have to say that I don't really want to play against purple, so I really hope that he overtakes Dummy. Looks good though. Looks like he will do that. Purple is, I think, the best opponent on the server. And if I get fifth and he gets fourth, then I have to face him in the quarterfinals already. This would be shit. So I rather want him to uh, uh, move ahead.
I also have to look how good are the other people doing. So Mika with a point zero six here, then multiple with a point three. Also Matt Hyper is doing decent, but the joint late. With this level, I'm actually annoyed that the quarterfinal is so short. Like the quarterfinal is such a luck round, where it is just too short so that the better player always would uh, win. You can be unlucky in one round and then you immediately lose the whole quarterfinal. That's how it feels, you know. Also, I will remember that Mika is very good on this track. This was a very good time, 2000 away from my PB. I'm actually overtaking purple, maybe I can myself actually get further up. Almost didn't make it. Okay. Also this is the next map done. Mika looks very strong on this one, that's for sure. Look at this map. Didn't know you were 34, you sound like 25. <laughs> okay. I also didn't know that I'm 34. Only when I do the maths, I actually realize. Was there not a one on my car shortly? Okay, this is a confusing round. What the heck are these types? Two people with point three? Ah, usually I was doing really good on this track with a time like I did now. Ah, this is really looking annoying. Like I don't want to be, like I had not a chance to get to top three again. That would have been good. That was lucky. That was a small clip. What are they doing in the ending? Am I missing a cut? <laughs> Is that crazy? Yeah, they are again all in front of me. Only Joseph. He fucked up. 22 points for Joseph. So he's vulnerable.
third place, Joseph in fourth, and Dummy very far behind. Okay, also I have a slight chance. Is Matt Hyper, however? Uh, not necessarily. Also I have a slight chance to move up to third place on the last map. That would be my aim now. That would be what I... Oh no. Okay, I don't have a chance to. <laughs> this is my worst one. Shit. Also if I would get top 3, it would mean that I play against the 6th place in the quarterfinals. And that would be helpful. Because then I have at least an easy quarterfinal and the semis where the match is a bit longer. There would be just one match that I have to get to reach the finals. even that bad. But what are people doing here? Imagine they start to <laughs> make some tricks and maybe no finishes on purpose, but they finish super late, most of them. Okay, I make good points here. I'm second now, okay. But it's super close. Definitely good. Yeah. Will Mika finish? Yeah, he will. Also, I would maybe even win the whole seating if I had not this one no finish. This map here goes different than I thought. Either they are just fucking up at the moment, because they have much better times. What they are doing here. I'm not really driving exceptionally fast, I want to say. That people can easily beat me. But okay, this is a second place. And yeah, Matt Hyper gets overtaken by, oh, this is so good. I didn't really want to play against Matt Hyper. I didn't think of that, but he loses by one point and it's only eight. So that's really good. That's really good. That's a per, as a, I didn't imagine that I could get such a good ending of this. No, that means that Mika will play against Matt Hyper. I will play against Randomize, which is like the easiest opponent probably that you can have. And then on the moon is playing against Purple. So Purple has it also very nice. And Dummy is playing against Joseph. Joseph actually fell back a lot. So, that means that I have a semi-final against purple. But actually Mika looks to be the best player here. He was very strong on every track. Um,
Hmm. Okay, I have to open the the Discord on the side. Uh. My Discord is of course bugged again. Beautiful. I have to close it. Ah, oh, no, no, no. Oh, it took ages. It was a long freeze. A long freeze. What the heck? So, Kentucky Trackmania. Okay. I want to see if they have some line in the ending of this track here. <sighs> oh yeah, he've also got a point zero too. Like, I didn't check these records. Like even Joseph, point thirteen. It's really sick. difference guys there's a difference okay so apparently how much of a release is this and then oh not much okay yeah so you can go for outside and then no slide through this and take all the speed for this ending and yeah this is how they won a lot if you compare that with my run or maybe let's go on my time. Look at that, we are equal. Hey, the drift doesn't even look bad. Okay, that looked bad. <laughs> that might be just a very bad ending, but still, you can directly see that the other guy has the overspeed, so yeah. Okay, that's interesting. I guess I know what map I will practice a bit further. And I did not focus. I forgot what I wanted to do. Beautiful. Okay, I have my quarterfinal match. We have to go into the dinks here. Also, what maps would I like to try? Um, I had just, just the skill maps, I think. Please draft here. I can ban at first a map. Okay, what do I ban? Let's ban Verdant Grasslands. So 
Und auch hier Pens. Ben hype no. Hype no to add? What track is that? Oh. Okay, that's fine. Actually, I should have banned that. <laughs> um, okay, then I pick a map and I pick Scorpion. Why not? Scorpion. So we can already have a look um, with purple for the next match. On this track, he is fast. Seems to be a bad map for me now against these players. So I would not really pick that. Wow, random mice is picking grip E. Interesting. So here purple has world records. That's not looking too good. I don't really want to pick this. On this map, however, I don't. The purple is, I think, one place behind me. So, could be a pick. Then we have this weird map. I mean, I was doing pretty good now. So, could be an option, actually. While here, he is again very fast, but he does the cuts, so it's a bit hard to say. We were both fucking up one lap, so yeah. It's a bit of a mystery with that map. This map here would be close, could be could go any way between us. And here I just have no idea. I have no idea about Purple's pace, no clue at all. And here he has of course world record. Not toll. <laughs> I was about to <laughs> to ban mix, and this is the decider map. Amazing. Also, yeah, I think that. I think that Grip E could maybe be something against Purple. I just have no clue what his pace is here. And apart from that, I think I could pick this one or this one. But I might have to face him on these maps here. And this is gonna be difficult. That's for sure. I will open this map again because it's the side of map. Yo, I pp'd like this, well... And the difficult thing with purple in the match against him is gonna be the fact that he is just so fast on every track. So this is like one of these opponents. Room is open, okay. It's like one of those opponents where where you don't have it in your own hands. Because he just might drive a really sick time that is then not really beatable in the wrong moment for you. Yeah? He could just do it in the wrong moment when you just drive a good time but then you, he drives also an unbeatable can always happen. Okay. 
Um, I'm on the server. Let's wait for him. I mean, Randomize is, I think, actually a good player, but there's no the tracks now. So every 1v1 will be played until 5 points on the map. Whoever has five, the, as first five points on the track wins the track. The quarterfinals are so dangerous because they are so incredibly short. only play until two map wins and uh, as we have five good players that means that there will be this enormous battle uh, between fourth and fifth place and this is why I wanted to avoid that also dummy and uh, Joseph are facing off each other and it could like easily uh, knock out the maybe better player of them too or it's just a close match in general like small differences will decide I mean both players have a pick so both players do pick obviously a map that uh, suits them and there's a high chance that it's 1-1 and then the decider map that the admin decides can decide everything and that might be close but then you have like one really tight round between the two players and that makes a decider in the end it's very very open who takes it then definitely not nice i will then play against uh, purple Do you keep the key on the last left till I don't know? Do I? There are other turns. Yeah, it's important to keep the key. This one here, the right turn.
That was an early gear change, holy moly. Not kidding, I might be on world records here. hundreds away from my PB. My PB is the tenth away from world record. Um, the landing at this jump was not good. Hard to say how much I lost there. Another good time. Yeah, theory I can be good on this track, I would say. Okay. First map one. Now we go to his pick. Now I don't know, but uh, uh, I think he is actually a good player. And, and if he uh, if he trained Trackmania World Tour. That he could be good on that track, but yeah, we will see that. We will see his performance now. Also, yeah, one of the tracks that came into the map pack is actually this one here, the easy version of Grip. Uh, the problem for me is I actually haven't played Trackmania World Tour at all at that stage. I haven't played these uh, easy maps. I played the uh, season before. There I know the easy maps a lot by heart, uh, but I haven't played this one. So this is quite new to me. Let's see how I perform, because that decides if I would pick it against purple. But the problem with purple, uh, with this map, the problem is that uh, I have no idea how good the others are. We haven't seen the map now in the seeding, so I cannot really get any idea like that. No, I haven't. Uh, we haven't played it in the seating, so I don't know how good are the other players. And in the local records on the track, while on the other tracks you see basically all the participants here in the top locals. Here we have of course Pushti Topako in first place and other players that hunted the easy maps for World Tour. Uh, Obviously, it's impossible to find your opponents here. As I have no idea what the PB of randomize uh, could be here on this track.
And I have no idea what the PP of purple is. Did purple actually go for some world tour? Now you also missed something to hunt for, to aim for, because nobody of us would hunt this map now for uh, beating Pushti Topako. You try to get somewhat close to the times, but you don't really do more than that. So, yeah, have no clue how good he is. No clue. I would need to uh, look and track my IO after this match. It was actually close, I realize now. Also I'm not really uh, pushing it, so I don't really know what pace I would drive against purple. It's hard to push this ending especially. Because they know when you push it, there's a high chance that you fly out. So when you go here with someone else side by side into this ending, then you... Even when you are only three tenths apart from it, it's already dangerous. Slowly but surely, I'm getting there. Alright, it's done. GG. 5 0 5 0. And that's basically the quarterfinal that I aimed for. I wanted to have like an easy one, and I needed this position. Like, even the first place that Mika had would be now not so easy because you would need to play against Matt Hyper. However, I think Matt Hyper didn't play the last weeks. There are a bunch of maps that he probably doesn't know too well. But yeah, now is the moment to check Trackmania IO. Then I go into uh, uh, campaigns. I say uh, HD, HD weekly's campaign, I guess. 
and um, then I search for crit E and then I load more and I load more and I load more and more and then I search at some point if I find purple in those uh, leaderboards with uh, control F found him he has a 5382 that's interesting that's basically a tenth behind me also it is close very close but it would be doable Is it you, Purple? Pupil TM? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Let's check. Tough, tough, tough. Okay. Yeah. Let's uh, train this myth. It's always difficult, like, the next match could go either way. The thing is, for me, it is, of course, it feels wrong to pick a map where purple has a better time, like, even a really much better time. It's, like, wrong to pick such a map against them. But there are tracks maybe where I still had similar chances to a track where where I am actually in front of him in the locals. But then the question is how close can I stay to my own local? It's not necessarily easier on this track. So I don't know what I should pick.
Semi-Final B jetzt der. Jetzt der, jetzt der. Alright, Draft hier. Marius Pick. Ähm, so, ja, yeah, I have to pick. I have to pick a map, guys. <laughs> I don't even know what my first pick is. <laughs> There's so much possible. But you know what? <laughs> I go for that track. I go for that track here. Uh, and I thought that's my worst map. But that might be a good map pick against purple. Let's see what purple is taking. I think one of the first two, I would assume. Yeah, he takes Hydro. I'm not surprised. That was also what I expected. But I can be good on this. Question is how consistent is he? Um, damn, I have to pick again. Yeah, now comes the decision. Decision making. I can pick Trip E with the thinking that it is training for next week already. If I just get some match practice on this track. That would be helpful. I can also pick this grass map. I pick Rip E. At least I played it a little bit, so... Let's see what he picks. Mixed five. I'm not surprised. He picks the first two maps. It's like exactly what I expected to happen. The grand final is always a bit nicer because in the grand final you would only miss one single track. Yet still feels like these two picks were really so difficult to beat. You want to pick Scorpion? Yeah, but <laughs> that's the annoying thing. We are both very good on it. So, what do we do? I also like to pick Scorpion. It's definitely whoever reaches the final of us will pick it there. That's for sure. Whoever reaches final will pick it. The final map is in Tangelemar. I don't know which track that is. Might be the weird one. Semi final is open. Okay. And Tarnge Le Mans? It's this one. Oh! Phew, yeah. Okay. That is an, an open one. I had one sick round, one sick lap. Semi final is open. Which semi final actually do we have to join? A or B? Probably B. I guess. No. Oh yes. Oh no. Let's ask again which server. Ah, Dami and Mika are here. B. I mean, I am on B, right? Didn't I join B? And Mika. Is leaving the game. So confusing because Mika joined, Dummy joined. Hmm. Now purple joining.
Purple and myself will be t uh, teammates tomorrow. Uh, in the Trackmania Seasonal Country Championship. <laughs> but now we are opponents, obviously. Because whoever wins will reach the final. And yeah, there was this question earlier, it's $100 price pool, 70 for first, 30 for second. Alright. Let's ask him if we go. Or we do this. Uh, we do this. Okay, let's go. Very clean first lap. Nice. So this is now who wins three maps first. In the final it is who wins four maps first. Okay, he crashed. That's a 2 0 lead. It's not good to uh, hit that uh, bump. I can flip over there. Okay, nice. That was another good round. Another very clean lap, again pretty fast.
Wow. <laughs> uh, that was surprising. Surprisingly clean. Okay. No hydro brush. Of course, the thing is that always whoever picks his, uh, picks a map will be good there. So I was so good on this map, and he picks now a map where he, of course, is the favorite to win. I don't know how safe I am on my second pick because there was no other safe pick. I think he is good on every track so that's gonna be tough it would be definitely helpful to win one of his picks but it would be very difficult to achieve that maybe i also should have looked into the into his replay here if there are also tricks or lines that i didn't know Alright, that's helpful, made a mistake. I basically have to use all of his mistakes and win those rounds. Maybe I have then a chance to win the map. crashed again. Helpful. Truth. A decent time. This is what I basically expected. That when he gets through, his times will be difficult to achieve. Unfortunate. I was so weird, my car was suddenly so slow that I actually got to inside. 
I didn't really expect that in that moment. Point eight, actually. I thought my one was slower and I was already a bit annoyed. Oh shit, that would have been actually an, a beatable time. I definitely can do better times than what I'm driving. Okay, he crashed again. Also, story of this map. If he gets through, he wins. If he crashes, he loses. And he crashed 50-50 of the rounds. The thing is, in his surviving rounds, he drove a point 19 and a point 20. I can beat that. on a sick run. I'm also on a sick run. GG. I messed up the finish, but I was on PB. I was on the sub as well. I was surprised that after my start, I was not in first. And then I make the interface on even a tenth behind.
That was surprising. Also, I had a chance actually. A slight chance. Like he survived 5 rounds. And that's what he needed. But yeah, would have been maybe possible. Now we go to my second pick. This one here is gonna be tighter than the first one, that's for sure. I'm not sure if I can win this map. But I wouldn't be sure on any track. There are some lottery tracks. And some tracks where he's looking very strong. So I cannot be really sure on any track. But yeah, let's try it with this one. Yo, slow, thanks for the raid. Okay, let's go. Maybe he's not playing. What did he miss? Checkpoint. I have no clue. I thought the DNF is basically the restart, but I was also debating if I should ask. But if he misses the first ring, which can happen, then I might never see him in the checkpoint. No? Set ready. Here he is. Minus minus. Okay, also I think that he missed. Thanks God, man.
Dude, ooh. Got a white corner because I lost a bit of grip at the end, which easily happens. Small touch. I think that purple jumped out of the water. That can easily happen. Do not pick Rip against Mika. Well, I think that he is very strong on any map. I mean, what can you even pick against him? would be something. Oh, one thing is that I'm safe. It is so confusing that Heath is not there and for the very first time we see Mika playing. Hmm. Does Heath play on Mika's account? <laughs> you <laughs> good talk tm here in the chat please what <laughs> how likely was this i never expected that what <laughs> what is that thief with tax account hmm. Hmm. now yeah uh, all right so i need to win one of the next two maps my picks were good decisions against purple. On this map it looked pretty grim for me. In the seeding. Even though I feel pretty good on it. But as I've realized, I did the wrong line. I didn't know that the last one is no slide. With that knowledge I can now improve my time a little bit, in theory. Let's go.
I need to improve my pace here a slight bit. In theory. I could only hope that he makes a mistake. I had a pretty poor lap, uh, starting already in the first corner, and he had a point thirty one in the end, so it was a good round to do a bad lap. Could safety ending because he was behind. This was important. <laughs> PB. Yeah, thanks to the no slide.
Yes! Final! Woo! Boah. <laughs> yeah, purple has to drive the Nadio campaign now for the TSCC. Alright. Yeah, let's go Mika. Finally, I have never won this cup yet. And I have a feeling this uh, trend will continue. Now that Heath is not playing, suddenly we have Mika, and it is basically the same situation. What is with my cable from my pet? Something is wrong here with my chair. Where is this cable going? I'm confused. Okay. Yeah, also Mika, I can already tell you that I will pick the Sandy map. Because I think there are barely any maps where I have a better chance, so I have to pick it. Uh, okay, you can start with a pick. We have the pick and ban phase open now. Only one of these maps will not be picked. No? Uh, each of us picks three maps, and then only, uh, yeah, and, and the admin also picks a decider map, and then there's only one single map left in the end. So Mika is picking Grip E. I'm not surprised. I will pick then directly this Chris Four Saisons, as I already told. This is how we start. So, let's see what he picks next. Verdant. Is this the this is the crest map, right? Okay, that's what I wanted to pick. That's fine. Uh, then I will pick. Naja, yeah, then I will pick the Scorpion, of course. That was, anyway, the idea. So far, so good. So he picks HDs and Tanglemon. I'm also fine with that. Why do you pick my best maps? Like, this is the map where you are behind me in the locals. Do you want to make it exciting? Also, I'm fine. All the maps that I wanted to have in are in. I'm fine with that. That's it's good. So, now comes my last pick. So, we have three maps left. Mixed. The good thing is I have played it. So, I have a bit of warm-up on it. I have also played this map, of course. I have no idea how good Mika is on this. I only see the time, which is good, but yeah. And the other map that is missing is... Uh, <laughs> yeah, Mika. Hypnotoad it is. Hypnotoad. <laughs> we go for the weird maps. I heard. Hydro Rush, okay. So finals is open, and we join. 
I think that Mika probably played here this team beat, uh, team virtual season, so he is already well prepared on those tracks. Oh no, I just realized something. Now uh, let's go to red. Life already? Or not? Mm, you didn't write. I don't know. Ach komm. Also the winner of this edition today can pick a map for the to get into the map pool. And now I play of course against the player where I exactly know which map he will pick. Also what kind of style he will pick. And nobody will have a chance. We are already lucky that there is no ice map currently in the map pool. When I was under the shower, I was also already thinking about which track I would like to pick in. It is actually doable. It is beatable. I can do 53. Damn. This is mine, yeah. 53. Let's go. Oh, that was bad, it was way too high.
Yes! Let's go! <laughs> well, I even slid away in this ending. That was good! Yeah! <laughs> PP! GG! Whoa! <laughs> what an ending! That was basically pixel perfect! Oh my god! After 2 zero, then 5 wins in a row. He got a water bounce? And it's still that close? I thought it loses a lot more. Alright, but this was only one track. My picks are all unsafe, so winning one of his picks is not a guarantee for anything. Like even this map here is not safe. But if I can play it like in the semi-finals... It's not slow on this, but obviously I had to pick this map. That was an obvious pick. Actually a much slower time than I expected, but he had a crash. Round though.
Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I'm doing much worse than against purple though. Yeah, this was a much better time now. Much cleaner. survive we were on incredible runs like I, I had a six start but he was actually ahead after the first few corners i messed up then afterwards i got to inside in one corner had to open steering If you have one bad line, your whole round is kinda rip. He saved the ending, I think. Also, I gained 4 tenths. He was on a very good start. Okay, 4 3. Okay, he did 0 0.7, 0 0.0 and 0 0.7. We have a point. Uh, we have a 4.4 now. A bit unfortunate that I didn't drive this time when he did 0 0.0. Ah, another point seven. Damn, he made a comeback from one four to five four. With three point sevens though, so that was a difficult to defend comeback. Only his point zero, but there he might have saved. Uh, because I was crashing. I can of course also drive point seven. I had partly decent starts, but there was always then this one corner where I lost it. Too bad, I mean a 2-0 lead in the maps, that would have definitely made a huge difference. That could have helped me. 
also puts of course pressure than uh, more pressure on him on this map here. Uh, but yeah, now it's one one. I wanted to figure out where the safe finish is. Now I know. Ach damn, now I have this. Uh, that's dumb. I never didn't make the jump, but I was releasing now because I uh, went too early into this corner. That was perfectly saved. <laughs> I knew I had half a second, so I went as safe as possible to keep the gear. <laughs> uh, got a bit close though.
ist das PB? Und, na, I know he was already ahead of me in the locus. Ja, it's a good time. That's unlucky. I lost now both close rounds. I won one close round, but I was more with a save. But uh, both rounds that were close, I lost them both. And another one. Ah, GG. What annoys me always a bit is um, when I play against someone that has faster times, theoretically. And then in the match, similar against purple, I'm only winning if the other guy crashes and whenever he gets through, I'm losing. But I have the pace. I just drove the wrong time in the wrong moment, basically. So, so it feels so unnecessary. I actually have to pace. I can, I can also win rounds by pace, but apparently the game only lets me win when the other one has a mistake. That was actually a close uh, map and it was winnable. But uh, when you have one you once until five points, then these, these tight rounds, they play a huge role. Like if it's one point for you or one point for the opponent, that's that's actually a very very important thing. Those matter a lot. All right. Now my pick. Let's go. I got an upper gear. I didn't have that yet. That ruined my line. But he has also on a good run, I think. He had a good start. Oh yeah, that's faster than my PP. Wow. I mean, my PP is second place in the local leaderboard. It was only behind purple. And Mika has just beaten my PP. Uh, that was sick. I can also beat that, but still. Hard, of course.
Ah. Mm. That bump killed us, shit. Uh, for example, his last round, I could have beaten it with this time here, but I drove it now where he crashed. What pace does he have? Ja. <laughs> Mann. <laughs> I lose with a point thirty. Damn. He gains it mainly in the start. Got a bad gear then. I said this one is over. And it was only two tenths, it would have been possible. Nine. Ah, that's, that's incredible. Oh man, that was so unlucky now. Wow. I get the slowdown because I thought I need to risk and then he actually made a mistake and I, I was 4 tenths up and it obviously did cost more than 4 tenths. Ah, that's annoying. Yeah, it's over. I didn't get a gear. I get now the gear as a huge slowdown. It would have been an easy round to win now, because he had a bad start for once. But exactly now where it was easy, I get the bad gear as well. That That is so inefficient. Like, I could be leading, actually. Okay, let's see, maybe I have a chance to... Oh, whoa, whoa. 
Yeah, it's so close. Okay, I have this round. Oh. And it took ages for the gear to come. Ah, that it costs some time. Scheiße. And I was in the lead. Yeah, the match luck is not on my side now. This was a winnable map. Like I drove good lap times and lost against point ones. And now I had some shitty rounds where I lost against shitty times. That was dumb. Um, the thing is, if I win on this dirty map, uh, if I win that second map and it's 2-0 for me, the momentum might be different. So these two maps, the grass one and that one, that were both ba basically close, they could also go differently. Because it's often also momentum based. Whenever you play against a fast player that is a bit a favorite, then it's all about breaking his momentum. So that he makes mistakes and so on. And a 2-0 map lead might have helped in that case because the next map being close again puts in more pressure. Oh yeah, as expected, it might be another second place. I mean, if he's not 3-1 in the lead, he needs one more map win, then it's uh, one for him. So I need to win all three remaining maps now. Not impossible, but we know on this map he was very good at the seeding. It's helpful that I already got one point on the board. Are you kidding me? How did I not make this jump? I mean this jump is to be honest also a mystery to me. Like the block that you jump off. Where is actually the safest way to jump as far as possible? Where, where do you have to jump off? The problem was that I got quit. Ah, uh, it hurts if I 
don't take these easy opportunities. But when you play against a good player that is driving faster pace if he gets through, just need to use all your chances that you get and I had just a chance to be 2-0 in the lead. Yeah, you see this? Now I'm losing it by a tenth, of course. Ah. I don't know why I didn't make this jump, man. It got crip when I jumped off and then it went down. I don't know. <laughs> Was my round. Grand Finals started really good and it gave me a lot of hope but it actually went pretty much downhill from that moment on from that moment when I was leading 4-1 on the second map because I think that every single map was theoretically also winnable and because it's just a good level like we are both pretty fast So it is pretty open, it is almost a 50-50. But now I'm losing all of these 50-50s. It's maybe 60-40 for him. Yeah, this is a good map for him. I'm okay on it, but I'm not super super fast. He drove now very consistent, 0.88 and twice low 0.9s. He has now 4 match points. Like this was one of the maps where I thought, yeah, this is probably his map. But all the maps that we just played were all good maps for me. Okay, I need to... Get some sick laps now. I want to turn this around. I can still get a bit faster. Currently not getting a perfect start, I believe. unless he misses the jump like I did. No, I do. Yeah. <clears throat> he was of course the favorite to win this. And I'm really happy I got into the final. It was a nice match against Purple. Uh, but after the first map, uh, I am always optimistic. And it went pretty well, went pretty well on the second map. But already the fact that I lost the second map was like, naja, as he is 60-40 favorite on most tracks, nah, you, you have to win such a 4-4 situation if you want to have a chance. Because if I 
win, then most likely it's like a 4-3 victory. There's, it's less likely that I win 5-2. And for such a 4-3 victory, it would be helpful to win a 4-4 situation. And a 2-0 lead, that would have maybe changed the match a little bit. I mean, at, at least it would have been one map longer now. Uh, but also the momentum would have played a role. But yeah. He was very consistent, like the comebacks that he did on the second map, for example. Everything done with good times. But on some other tracks afterwards, like he won, of course, whenever he did his good runs. But what annoys me a little bit is that he also won when he did bad times. And that is what I, of course, want to avoid uh, with my consistency. But that... Uh, was just not very lucky then, how it went. There was definitely more possible. At least that they would have been way closer. And at least that I would have won at least one of those tracks. I don't know, on this map here, it feels like completely open. I have no idea, but on this map, I think it would have been um, a lottery because there is not really much to do on this track. I can I have no idea how good he is on this. I was really shit in the seeding, but I, but in theory I can be good in the match. Also it's hard to say. Um, and the map afterwards. Uh, the Hydro Rush. Yeah, I have no idea how good he is. <laughs> Who knows? But okay, another second place, another time, final. And I'm nicely prepared also for next week. I played all the maps, I trained all the maps. And we lose now the two maps where I was the weakest on, I would say. Also I, I'm actually not weak on those two. Uh, I mean, I have beaten purple on this, so it's not too bad. But they were definitely tough. And this here is also unclear. I lost to purple on this. Yeah, I, it's hard to say. It's not bad that those two tracks are gone now. Mika start line on and tangled. Uh, let me check. Oops, hello. Comparison of our PBs, where I'm finally in front of him, but then again, we both have a 0 0.7 high, but he drove consistently 0 0.8 <laughs> and low 0.9, so that is just really good. Oh, yeah, look at that. In the ending, I lost a lot. I'm really yacked with this block. Also, Mika was driving this completely different. Instead of jumping up here, what I always did, because I thought this is basically the ramp, he went here, kept grip for much longer, and steered then to the left. Yeah, also I had the shit ending. That's maybe something for next week to learn. Like the fact that I didn't make the jump in this one round, Maybe with the other line, this is basically super safe. Mm, Alright. Ah, damn. Now, as I said, winner can decide a new track that comes in, and now we all know that it's gonna be an ice map. <laughs> I wanted to know, HD, if you would have allowed a map with a different car. That's what I would have picked. 